another alleged gameplay video train sim world on the uh, on the xbox one a game that has um that has occupied me shall we say for quite a few hours um let's get the record straight when it comes to trains i'm a real kind of anorak uh, I had a big model railway layout some years ago. I'm going to have another one when I decide where it's going to go. Um, and if we decide we're definitely not going to move house again. Oh, no, I don't. Um, yes, I really, really do like my trains. This is a Class 47, a 1960s diesel locomotive. And uh, this is the West Somerset DLC. So we'll get in the get in the train. Try to. All right. So for some reason I've got to have this co-driver with me. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but let's get this thing moving at least. Uh, there's so much to do. It really is a simulator in that sense. So we need to aim forward, and we're going to need to remove the brakes. There we go, and a little bit of power. 15% throttle. Are you going to move? A little bit more, 25%, 27%. There we go. Here we go. Uh, you can have an external view as well. It looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I was a major fan of Microsoft Train Sim uh, when I was like mad about PCs and all the rest of it. Um, but for some reason, I kind of I don't know really. I kind of dropped out of all that. Uh, but then this came along, this came along. Um, this particular DLC was quite expensive. It was, uh, I think it was 20 pound, 19.99. Um, I'll just take a little bit of power off there. Don't want too much power. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got no problem with that. 20 pound for this, for this particular DLC. Uh, which means now I've spent £60. I mean, I'm going to support this game as much as I can and support the developers. It's not been without its issues. It's not, it's not perfect by any, by any measure. Um, there were lots of things like uh, screen tearing in the, in, you know, in the first few months. That's been addressed. And what they've done is they've, they've essentially put a lot more motion blur in place. So, uh, but even now there's still issues with uh, frame rates and we're just going over the level crossing here, look. Let's get ourselves another external view. Over the level crossing, isn't that quaint? Yeah, so there's still a few issues. There's been, there's constant updates, um, but it's a case of Uh, this this company, I think it's Dovetail Games. They're the only show in town. Nobody else is trying to do this on a console, so it's a really big, you know, it's a big project to take on. You know, it's all about physics and inertia and everything else and getting that right. And you never you never feel bored with the environment. Does that make sense? Can we open a window here? Yeah, let's let the air in. Let's let some fresh air in. Uh, but I love it. I love it to bits. Um, it's not as deep as, for example, Microsoft Train Sim. But it has the potential if you if you get my drift. But I, I've been playing this for hours, honestly. And it's not everybody's cup of tea. And mo a lot of people will probably be thinking, I just don't get it. I don't understand why you want to do it. But then, you know, fair enough fair enough and uh, fair play to you but uh, for me it's just it's literally right up my boulevard shall we say um, 
trying to think of any other issues. The real big issue for me is um, the intercity, the high speed train. Now that's still got major issues and parts of the track can go missing. Let's give it a little bit more welly now, let's give it about 60%. Um, yeah, parts of the track can go missing and, and you know there's lots of glitches and everything else. But uh, I'm sure they'll sort that out. I haven't played any any of the other any of the other countries or railways like uh, I think there's New York and I think there's Germany because I'm not interested at the moment. You know, it's, it's 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 taking enough time just to just to get these uh, these done, and I like the way they've done it. They've they've put in a proper timetable. So you can run a whole 24 hour timetable, you can dip in or dip out of it. Uh, let's just take a little bit of power off here. Yeah you can dip in and dip out of the timetable and do little do little runs and everything else. Um, or else also you can do like challenges, scenarios. Um, so for example you know, an engine may break down on a main line and you've got to pick it up or it might be really bad weather. Um, you know, it's, it, it kind of mixes it up, gives it a bit more variety. But um, this is the first DLC pack that I really had to have, if that makes sense. I downloaded this immediately. Uh, Class 47, one of my favourite engines. I, I sound terrible, don't I? I've oh, got such an anorak. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I just know that there's so many other engines and scenarios that I want and this game is going to take all my money. And who cares, you know, it's a niche, a niche market, not a lot of people like it, uh, the developers need all the support they can get and uh, and that's a good thing, you know, that's a good thing. It's not easy to create these incredibly detailed models and get the physics right and everything else. And uh, it's not an international thing, the DLC, once it's released. You know, something that's only going to be relevant to the UK, only going to be relevant to, uh, to Germany, for example. So, um, but yeah, yeah. I absolutely love it. I adore it. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know what it is. You know, just sitting here, doing a full run. And when you've got multiple stations, that is difficult. That really is difficult to keep time and everything else. And the controls, the controls are everything. You can control everything. You've got to be aware of everything. I've turned a few things off while I'm doing this video. I uh, need to give it a little bit more power. Simply because we're going up a steep gradient. Yeah, the controls, you know, you've got everything. The lights, the cab lights. Uh, Okay. I've been chatting so much, I've not realised <laughs> there's a station coming up. Uh, we should be okay. Gonna stop well short now. That'll do us. Unlock the right, and there you go. I'm going to leave it there because there's there's so much for me to talk about. It's obvious that I really like it. Everyone's getting in and out of the train. I'm having a look around, seeing everything's okay. I just love it. So you guys take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.